denies that Jesus was crucified. And I believe in the brother has given me a deadly poison and he wants me to drink it. Hello guys, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. Today's video is very, very interesting. This is a pastor that drank poison to prove to a Muslim that Jesus died for everybody. And when you have given your life to Jesus, all those things don't have the capacity or the power to take away your life. I don't have much thing to say concerning this video. Let's just watch it and solve for ourselves what actually happened in this video. All of us will be surprised. And if you are new to my channel, you can subscribe. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell icon for more videos. Ask a question to Mr. Stanley. That is according to the uh, title, is the Bible true word of God? And uh, he accept that he, uh, he, he believed that the Bible is the true word of God and he believed in Jesus. So I want to ask if you have the complete faith in Jesus Christ. And if yes, then according to, I have one uh, question here, according to Mark in the Bible, chapter 16 and verse 18, you have in your lecture said that uh, they will, uh, about the sickness and uh, things that uh, you can uh, recover the sickness of the people. And in the same verse it stands that if, you, if they drink any deadly things, it will not hurt them. Hmm. That is the same verse, and I have here a pipe poison. Hey. And you please, and you please testify for the audience that you have the true faith in Jesus. What? Thank you, sir, for your question. My you brother has given me a deadly poison, and he wants me to drink it. Oh no! He wants me to make a show and tell you that it is true what is written in Mark 16 that if we drink something that is poisoned, we will not die. No. Now, very it's strange. Not car. You see, I believe in God. I have experienced the Holy Spirit and in our family, we have experienced the Holy Spirit as a reality. And the Holy Spirit tells us what is going to happen. And my wife told me Thursday night, Stanley, be careful, someone will try to poison you. <laughs> When I, when I was invited through, uh, when I was invited through Suhil hmm. Aziz Khan that uh, Mr. Ahmed Didat Tuesday evening want to give me dinner, my wife said, Stanley, be careful. <laughs> Do you know why? Because we know about many, Mus many Muslims who became Christians and were killed. Ah. Now, am I going to drink this and you will see me fall down and die? Now, listen to this. When you know the Bible, the first thing I will answer before, before really telling you what I'm going to do. Wait. I, I'm shaking a little bit. Excuse me. But so listen now, do this. you see, you asked me if I believe in Jesus, and I want to tell you, I believe in Jesus as it is written in the Gospels. I don't believe in Jesus as it is written in the Quran, because the Quran denies that Jesus is the Son of God. The Quran denies that Jesus was crucified. The Quran does not accept that Jesus was resurrected. The Quran I'm denies sure. that Jesus is Messiah. I'm and I believe in the, in the <sighs> way the Bible says that Jesus is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And He's equal with God. But now listen my brother. Listen my brother. Do you know? One day 
Satan himself approached Jesus and the devil met Jesus in the wilderness and said throw yourself up from a high wall and make a show and try to show the people that you are the son of God when Jesus was standing in front of King Herod even King Herod said to Jesus now do some miracles for us so we can have a little fun Mr. Didat you have written a book and you have made fun of Jesus and you have said that the Bible is contradicting each other, itself because in, in, in the prophecies it says yes I'm coming to say Yes. Ladies, I'm ladies asking and him. gentlemen, I'm the word asking is him. If you want to kill me, I must have five minutes more. Ah. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you that in front of Herod, Jesus did not open his mouth according Why? to the scripture. And Jesus did this? not make a show of the miracles. And when you gave me this question today, I recognize the devil in you and I'm not going to obey the devil. I'm not going to make a show. <laughs> And I'm going to tell all the others that Jesus, he wants to heal. He does not want to cause sickness. He will give life. He don't want to kill people by alcohol and drugs. It's the devil who wants to cause damage. And Jesus, he wants to give blessing. Now I have become a little too excited. I think I must sit down. If you regard to the poison story, the young man had a just question. He was justified in asking a just question. It was a matter of faith. You have faith? Then I want proof. Mm. And Jesus Christ, if it was him, in the Gospel of St. Mark, chapter 16, the ending verses, verse 17, you read it. You read it that what you are supposed to do. But you know in this Bible here, that verse is not here. Pastor, that verse 9 to, 9 to 20 verses of Mark are not here. I don't know if anybody here, you young man, can you read English? No, you can't. Mm. Pastor, would you like to help me? I said, Look, in this Bible here, produced by the Christians, 32 scholars of the highest eminence, backed by 50 cooperating denominations of Christendom, they have thrown it out as a fabrication. Verses 9 to 20 are thrown out, they are not here, sir, in this Bible. But of course, as I told you last night, that now they have reintroduced it in this one. They look alike, but they took it out here and they put it back. You know why? This is because of certain individuals and church denominations, they, they, they terrified them. That verse... That verse, that verse, it says, and these signs sign shall follow them that believe. If you believe in Jesus, these are the signs that will follow. In my name shall they cast out devils. And the pastor said, you got the devil. You are the devil. Telling the young question, the timid young man, you know, he was terrified to articulate his question. And now, with all the power at his command, with the mic system behind him, he said, you are a devil. I recognize the devil in you, and I'm not going to obey the devil. I'm not going to make a show. And he's shivering in his pants, you know, and now you have got the power. God had given it to you. You should cast out the devil. Heal the man. Instead of terrifying him into death, heal the man. You are supposed to, number one, cast out devils, and they shall speak new tongues. The professor does it beautifully in Urdu. I said, what about Zulu? What about Zulu? Can you speak Zulu, sir? Ninga zindi ngoguti sino Abrahama ubaba wetu uti kumvusela go Abrahama abandona gulamato.
talking about tongues. Tongues means speaking different languages. For every one language, for every one language that the pastor can speak, I'll give him three foreign languages for every one he speaks. And that is without the help of any Holy Ghost. No Holy Ghost. I'll do it on my own God-given computer. Right. They shall speak new tongues. They shall take up serpents, snakes. Where are you going to look for serpents in Scandinavia? And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. If you have belief, if you have faith, so that young man was trying to test his faith. Instead, he loses his temper. He's lost his faith with it. Faith also goes with it. This is very, very serious. You that is a Christian that is watching this video should pray every day of your life for your Christianity not to be mocked. Because the Muslims are finding every avenue to mock our Christianity. To mock it. It is very, very disheartening. And I believe that God will still prove them wrong. Although the man of God used wisdom in order not to allow Satan to kill him in the name of trying to push something by emotion. And I believe that everything he said, he was saying it under the inspiration of the Holy Ghost. This is very, very good. We should be careful in everything we do in life as Christians. Think of a famous preacher whose faith centered on a passage in the Bible promising protection from snakes. A rattlesnake took his life. Matt Wolford, a renowned Pentecostal serpent handler, died after suffering a bite from one of the snakes that he used to show his devotion to God. This is the one of the reasons. This is one of the reasons we, as Christians, should be careful and also be prayerful because the Bible says that in end times there will be so many attacks and rest of them, and this is one of the attacks that Christians will face in the end time. Let's keep on trusting God for the best and also I believe the pastor did everything he did there with the inspiration of the Holy Spirit for him not to be moved by emotion. There will be a pastor that if such questions is being asked to him, he will be moved by emotion and he might do one or two, one or two things or the other that might even take his life and it will not end well. So now, to that Muslim guy, if the pastor drank the poison and died, what will be your gain? What will actually be your gain? I believe that this video will teach a lot of things to the Christians and also to the Muslims, that in as much as these two things are two different denominations and two different beliefs and doctrines, we should not try to use that to scare one another. In, in the name of proving this or that, Jesus is real. Jesus is real. Thank you guys for watching this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. And also turn on the notification bell icon for more videos.